after experiencing this reality is stranger than fiction if i ever made a fiction on this case nobody would buy it uh well it was like stages of things <laughs> started with deep curiosity why did something like this happen and how did this happen and those questions were not really answered uh, in the way that the case was covered at that point in time and then a chance meeting with the netflix international docu team who asked me whether i had anything that i would like to explore through documentaries and this was the first thought that came to my mind uh, it was something that they aligned with immediately and uh, yeah just, just one thing led to the other and i was out on this journey uh, because i haven't made documentaries before this this is my first outing in the documentary making uh firstly it was very essential for me to get a uh, permission to speak to all the cops involved in this investigation to really get to the truth of the investigative part of it mm-hmm. and i met uh, shri amulya patnaik that time commissioner of police and he gave me complete access which was a huge huge blessing i mean that kind of support was really really essential to even try going down this line uh friends and family it's very difficult because i understand this is not a wound that's ever going to heal for any of them and then for us to go in and then open that wound up and say now go back to that space and talk about that pain is really really difficult so we um you know treated everybody with the respect of if they did not choose to speak we respected that we did not you know push anybody to and i am very very grateful to the people who did i think there was something left incomplete in them also and that's why they chose to speak um they were difficult conversations uh much more for them than for us they were difficult for us but much much more for them and uh, so taking them to that space was uh it was very <laughs> tough but really lot of strength to them that uh they spoke about this because this was required it was required this conversation was required and then down the line i remember doing one interview of a family member and at the end of the interview he actually said that you know this was like therapeutic for us because we've not even spoken about this amongst ourselves ever since mm-hmm. this has happened so thank you for asking these difficult questions it it made us to go, go to spaces that we didn't even allow ourselves to go so that was really reassuring because you know as a culture we have this thing that if something uncomfortable happens we should just stop talking about it. stop mentioning it otherwise it will cause pain but sometimes the solution is not stop talking about it it is let's talk about it and let's get it out of the system it's not really very different i mean uh, i'm very uh, what as a filmmaker i'm very intrigued by the conditioning and how to break that conditioning which causes such weird and difficult situations in our lives and in society and that was similar in parched this is just a different format but still it's telling a story it's about people it's about emotions and i have to say that after experiencing this reality is stranger than fiction if i ever made a fiction on this case nobody would buy it. and so there are some stories that need to be told as real not as fiction and there is a very very different power to that and uh, i think the power in this story is from the fact that it is real the power and the disturbing element of the story is the fact that it's real we've hit the spot on everything that we wanted to say and that is so gratifying you know all the right discussions are happening there are a lot of reactions which took us by surprise when people were horrified by i mean that they were calling this horror but i get it what is horror horror is much more horrific because it's real and it's yeah. closer to the bone you know horror is not about ghosts and all it's about dealing very un- which makes you uncomfortable i think all the reactions that are happening are coming out of a space of being affected by it and introspecting about it uh you know whether it's humor or horror or anything that people are saying 
it's still hitting the spot i mean i have not seen anything which has been like oh my god what was that i mean i'm working on a multiple things uh in narrative as well as docu but i don't know what's happening next nothing happens till it happens <laughs> but definitely will continue uh, exploring the documentary genre it's been extremely gratifying and a great great learning experience for me as a filmmaker subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon